Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now then, today we are talking turbochargers and we're talking about how you can make your turbo on your car's engine last forever. Now then, when it comes to turbocharger failure, I just want to go out there and say I have never experienced this. I don't know if it's because I've been lucky or I don't know if it's because I have maintained the turbocharger and the engine so well. Now obviously there is a few different ways that a turbocharger could potentially fail, but in this video I'm gonna kind of go over some of the things that you should and should definitely not do to ensure that your turbocharger has the best possible chance of lasting the test of time. Now then, with turbochargers, like pretty much any engine components, they are lubricated with oil and engine oil breaks down over time. So, you know, like your engine, if you want that to last forever, with your turbocharger, if you want that to last forever, then you need to be giving it regular oil changes. Now I'd recommend with any turbocharged engine, I'd recommend changing your oil every five to six thousand miles if you leave it you know to say 10 15 20 thousand miles what can happen is the oil can actually break down and it can start to turn to sludge and then what happens is because the turbocharger has very small oil feeds those oil feeds can actually begin to block up and thus you know stopping the supply of oil to your turbocharger and that is the main cause why turbochargers you know why they get seized up and so that's exactly why it is important to change your engine oil regularly you know engine oil and a good oil filter is not expensive you know changing your oil every six months you know it's not a massive task to do but you know replacing your turbocharger or having to buy a brand new turbocharger you know that's not easy and that's not cheap either and so just do the right thing change your engine oil every five to six thousand miles and your turbocharger and your engine will thank you for it now then kind of on the topic of engine oil and this is in respect to when you are switching off your car's engine now if you go for a drive and you come back then you there is a good chance that your turbocharger is still spinning because you know your turbocharger generally spins at somewhere around a hundred thousand rpm which is obviously a lot faster than your engine spins now it is a good idea to let that turbocharger stop spinning before you switch off your engine because what can happen is because obviously you know turbocharger gets very hot you know introduces exhaust gases what can happen is the oil again that goes through the oil feeds that can turn to carbon you know if you just switch it off because you still got that heat in there you're not letting that oil circ circulate properly you know that can just end up turning to carbon and again blocking those oil feeds and that is exactly how turbochargers get seized so my top tip for this then is when you have came back from a drive you know just leave it idling for you know it doesn't have to be too long maybe just 10 20 30 seconds um, but just let the turbo spool down let it stop spinning and uh, then you're just going to ensure that you're not going to be you know producing this carbon from this oil that has, has essentially just been cooked kind of another way that you could destroy your turbo as well is if you you know start your engine up maybe it's a cold day you don't let your engine get up to operating temperature and you just go and floor it you know you keep spooling your um you know your turbocharger and you don't get sufficient supply because the engine oil is still thick this is of course another way that you can end up destroying your turbo so proper practice like for your engine you know give your engine oil time to warm up before you know really stepping on the gas and spooling up your turbo now then another way that we could potentially destroy our turbo is not running an air filter or running a not very sufficient air filter obviously you know we have dust dirt leaves whatever else coming from the road introducing into our air box and if there is not an air filter there that can potentially then just make its way straight into the turbo housing, into the impellers, and you know, 
God only knows really what kind of damage that can cause. So it really is a good idea to make sure that you are running a good air filter when you have a turbocharged engine because like I said, you do not want any of that debris from the road entering your turbocharger. Okay then guys, so that is gonna be about it. I hope this video has been somewhat helpful. I hope it's gave you some pointers as to what you can do to make your turbocharger last forever. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please remember to give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next one. Peace.